again today uh, for your presence here on the uh, live stream and those who are listening uh, by conference call. We are so grateful that uh, you have tuned in and we thank the Lord that uh, you can turn it down. We thank the Lord uh, for all he has done uh, for us. Uh, bless the Lord, O oh my soul, and all that is within me. Bless his holy So grateful to our God. Let us continue to pray uh, for each other. Let's continue to pray for uh, family members, friends, the nation, doctors and nurses, uh, public servants in all capacities. Uh, let's continue to pray for the sick and uh, those who are shut in. Uh, let's pray for grieving families who are uh, uh, affected by what's going on in the world uh, right now. We serve a great God. God is good all the time. And all the time, God is good. Uh, praise God from whom all blessings flow. Praise him all creatures here below. Praise him above, ye heavenly hosts. Praise Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. The call to worship. I was glad when they said unto me, in the house of the Lord, our feet shall stand within the house of Jerusalem. For a day in thy court, a thousand. I had rather be a doorkeeper in the house of my God than to dwell in the tents of wickedness. Because of the house of the Lord our God, I will seek thy good. Every planters in the house of the Lord shall flourish in the course of our God. Blessed are they that dwell in thy house. Lord, I have loved thy habitation, the place where thy honor dwelleth. For the Lord is in his holy temple. Let all the earth keep silence before him. But let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in thy sight. O Lord, my strength and my redeemer. O well, sing unto the, the Lord, Lord a new song, for, for he, he has done marvelous things. Make a joyful noise unto the Lord. All, all the earth sing praises. praises. To sing God's praises uh, by singing hymn number 364. My hope is built on nothing less than Jesus' blood and righteousness. I dare not trust the sweetest friend, but wholly lean on Jesus' name. On Christ, the solid rock I stand, all of the ground is sinking sand. My hope is built on nothing less. Then Jesus' blood and righteousness, I did not trust the sweetest frame, but holy lean on Jesus' name, on Christ's big rock I stand. Yeah. 
children, bless our children's children. God, bless everything that's connected to us, God. And that we would give you the praise for all that you do. Now, God, we ask right now, God, that as your word would go forward, God, we need you to speak to your man serving God on today. God, we need to hear a word from you. Hear a word from you, God. We don't know what we're going to do, God. We know it's your word that has kept us. It's your word that has kept us. It's your word that has given us hope, God. And for that, we're truly grateful. Wherever your name is being proclaimed on today, God. Spirit, 
the church universal, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. From all that dwell below the skies, let the Creator's praise arise. Yeah. 
prayer of the righteous availeth much. We have to have fervent prayers going up. James 4 and 2 says, you have not because you ask not. Isaiah, listen to what Isaiah tells us today. Isaiah 65 and 24, uh, one of my favorites. And it shall come to pass that before they call, I will answer. And while they are yet speaking, I will hear. That, that, that's great news today. Listen to what God yes, yes, assures yes. us today. That it shall come to pass that before you even ask, God is already answering. And while you are yet speaking, while you are yet telling God what you need, God says, I will hear your prayer. Oh, that's a great scripture for us today. You ought to mark that one down. Philippians 6 says, be careful for nothing. But in everything, by prayer and supplication, with thanksgiving, let your requests be made known unto God. And the peace of God, which passes all understanding, shall keep your hearts and minds through Christ Jesus. We thank the Lord for that today, for that, for that encouragement out of the word of God. Especially now, we have to hold on to the fact that prayer still changes things. And prayer still changes situations. We have to be in prayer for the church, the body of Christ. Be in prayer for the leaders it is that as much as I wish we could get away from politics uh, it seems that, that politics are here to stay. I mean we look at it on television the Democrats and the Republicans and the Independents uh, the so called blue states and red states uh, they seem to be here to stay and we can't see to get away from it. All that we can hear is sometimes is division yeah. of disputes, ups and downs, when it concerns uh, the people's well-being. Uh, uh, but we thank God today that God, we can still count on God for all of our needs. And even though we can't get away from the politics, uh, we can ask to show himself mighty when it comes to those leaders and how leaders are serving in the best interest when it comes to the will of God in your life and in mine. I still believe and I believe it is true. I believe it. I today uh, that God's got us covered. Uh, that would be a high five moment with me. Those who know a little bit about me, those have been uh, knowing my way of preaching. Uh, that is a high five moment. Uh, right where you are, you want to give your neighbor or even give yourself uh, a high five. And you want to tell yourself God still has me covered. Oh, now, come on, talk God. to yourself. Come God, on, God, encourage God, yourself God. today. Tell yourself God, God. that no matter what's going on, I don't know what the future holds, but I know who holds the future. His name is God. His name is Jesus. And I believe that we are covered today in spite of how good or bad things are right now. God's got the whole world in his hands. He's got you and me, brother. He's got you and me, sister. He's got the little teeny baby yeah. in his hands. He's got the whole world in his hands. Uh, this is a scripture that I found from my mother. Proverbs 21 and 21 says that the king's heart is in the hand of the Lord. Even 
know I know people think they are in charge. I come to remind you today that God is the only one that's in charge. I'm crazy enough and foolish enough to believe today that no matter what we go through as a church, no matter what we go through as a family, no matter what as a nation, yeah. I will trust in the Lord until I die. That's why we sang that hymn a little bit earlier. My hope is built on nothing less than Jesus' blood and righteousness. I dare not trust the sweetest but holy or Jesus' name. The solid rock I stand up. All of the ground is sinking sand. But when we look at our text, we find the children of Israel were called to be God's children. He called them. He said he was going to bless them. They were his chosen people. Being God's chosen people meant that they would, in fact, be blessed by God. God said, told them that I would bless them in the city. I'll bless them in the field. I'll bless them coming out. I'll bless them going to heaven. God guaranteed that they would be blessed. And by the way, if you haven't figured it out yet, you all know that you are blessed in the city and blessed your going out is blessed. Your coming back in is blessed. You are blessed. Shut in, you're blessed. Going out, you're blessed. In the church house, you're blessed. In your living room, you're blessed. In your kitchen, you're blessed. In the basement, you're blessed. Blessed. And the thing that I love about being blessed by God, that uh -huh. when God tells me I am blessed, uh -huh. no devil in heaven can oh steal oh my, my blessing. Uh -huh. It doesn't matter whether you like me or not. It doesn't matter whether you roll your eyes and suck your teeth. Right. Uh -huh. right. Talk about me, scandalize my name. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. When God says that I'm blessed, uh -huh. I'm just blessed. I've learned to take my eyes off people and put my gaze on the God that I serve. Yeah. The God, the children of Israel were a blessed people. But even though they were a blessed people, it did not exempt them from the trials and tribulations of life. I find that I have to remind the saints that the word of life in Jesus is like a roller coaster. Sometimes up, sometimes down. Sometimes almost level to the ground. Sometimes you're going to be on the I love about God is that whether I'm on the mountain or in the valley, he's still God all by himself. It did not exempt them from the trials and tribulations of life. But even when they suffered great trials and hardships, and even when they went, and even when what they went through was self Inflicted. It was only for a season. Lord, thank you today. It was for a season and for a reason. You know we can learn from the seasons. We have four seasons. We have summertime. But get warm now, but we have summer, winter, springtime, and harvest or autumn. But the one thing we can count on, the one thing we can count on, is that God built the world we live in to change. And that, they let that serve as a reminder to all of us that no matter what season you are in, seasons do change. I don't think 
we're going to be shut in forever. <laughs> but the season is going to change. Yeah. Yeah. You might be down right yeah. now, but I'm hold on. on. I'm I'm on. Be encouraged. Because seasons do change. You might be sick in your body. But hold on. Seasons do change. You might be broke right now. That might be your season of being broke. I would understand that seasons do change. Job 14 and 14 says, All the days of my appointed time will I wait until my change comes. Oh, I want you to give yourself a high five right there. And tell yourself my change is going to come. I don't know when it's going to come. I just believe that my change is on the way. Personally, I enjoy summertime, but after a while of dealing with the heat of summer, I'm ready for a change. I really like autumn, the changing of the trees and the plant life and the easing up of the heat. And autumn feels good because it's not too hot and it's not too cold. It's just right. Much as I like autumn, it soon changes to winter. The cold, the snow, the short days of sunlight. But then winter gives way to spring. The warm back up. And for the most, and for most of it, the temperatures are just right. For the most part, the temperatures are just right. I say all of that as a reminder to you to because the same way the seasons change. I want you to know that no matter what season you're in today, it is going to change. Because for the person who's watching and listening today, it is going to go and it's going through a bad season, a rough season, a tough season, a season that seems unbearable, unbearable. I'm telling you to hold on. Your season is about to change. It's a new season. It's a new day. The people of God have arrived. They've arrived at Mount Sinai. The Bible says that God has extracted them out of Egypt. God has delivered them from the Red Sea. God has delivered them from Pharaoh. The Bible says that now Moses has brought them in the wilderness on their way to the promised land. Moses leads the people of God to Mount Sinai. While he's on Mount Sinai, Moses climbs the mountain in order to talk to God. The Bible says that Moses is on the mountain communing with God. The Bible lets us know that Moses was up there around 40 days. He was up there so long that the people began to get worse. Listen to those folk that God delivered. God brought them out of all of that because of their leader Moses. Now listen to the people as they talk to Aaron, Moses' brother. Listen, Aaron, Moses, and if you read it, it says that fellow Moses, he's been up on that mountain a long time. We don't know if he's coming back or not. We don't know what's going on up there. We ain't seen him. We haven't seen God. And here we are at the foot of this mountain just waiting. And we don't even know waiting for what? They go to Aaron, the associate pastor. He's the associate minister. They go to Aaron, the one that saw God work all those miracles. 
in Christ yes. Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Moses was the intercessor. Jesus is ours. Mm. Thank God for Jesus yes. today. Thank you, Lord. Maybe there's somebody listening or watching and you're not saved. Never accepted the Lord Jesus Christ. Yes, God. And in the world we live in, there's a lot to be scared about. Yes. The unknown is a lot to be scared about. But I want to encourage you today that we don't know what's going to happen, but mm -hmm. God already knows That's right. what's in store. And I believe that the people of God are crying out even now yes. that God would send a remedy, that God would send a cure, that God would heal the land. Maybe you're here listening, watching today, and you've never accepted the Lord Jesus Christ as your Savior. I'm going to pray and I want you to repeat after me. Repeat this prayer after me. We call it a prayer of salvation. And when you pray with me, you're not talking to me, but you're talking to God. And I just want you to repeat this prayer with me. Oh God, I am a sinner. Please forgive me for the sins that I have committed. I'm sorry. Please, Jesus, come into my life. Save my soul today. Jesus, I thank you that you lived, that you walked this earth, you died for me. They put you on an old rugged cross. You died on that cross. They put you in a borrowed tomb. But early Sunday morning, you got up with all power in your hands. You got up from the grave. You went back to your father. And one day, you're coming back. For me. Thank you, Jesus, for saving me today. Now fill me with your spirit. Help me to live a saved life. Amen. I believe if you prayed that prayer, you are saved today. The Bible says that thou shalt confess with thy mouth the Lord Jesus and believe in thy heart. God has raised them from the dead. Thou shalt be saved. Thank God for salvation today. Please let us know. Write us a letter if you've accepted Christ. New St. John, a &B Church, 5501 Rock Creek Lane, Virginia Beach, Virginia. Write us a letter. Google that. You know I tell everybody to Google stuff. You can find it if you Google stuff. Just Google Rock, uh, New St. John, Virginia Beach. Amen. Amen. God bless you. May heaven shine upon you. At this time, it's, it's offering time. It's offering time, and we encourage you to uh, support this church. Uh, support this church by, by giving your, your finances 10% of your income. We encourage you to become a tither, to be a tither. And we thank God for all of you who support this church with your finances. Thank God for all of you who send offerings to keep the church going. Amen. You've supported this church for the last month and a half or so through your giving. Amen. It has blessed the church that we can still pay our bills and do all that we need to do. And we encourage you to continue uh, to, to support this church with your finances. Amen. All things come of thee, O Lord, and of thine own have we given thee. Amen. Amen. But we're about to close. We're about to close. I want uh, the members of New St. John uh, to be in prayer for me, Sister Red. We're going to uh, Charlotte Wednesday uh, for an appointment, a medical appointment for Sister Red. Amen. Uh, call, a consultation is what it is 
and we're going up and we'll be uh, coming back on Wednesday. Um, we're still uh, waiting to have official board. I'm still getting some information to share with you uh, about the official board. And uh, when I get that information, we'll have it so that we can discuss uh, the business of the church. Uh, Bible study will be uh, Thursday. Bible study will be Thursday. Amen. Bible study will be Thursday, not Wednesday, but Thursday. Please spread the word that we'll have Bible study Thursday at 12 noon. God bless you today. Have a good day in the Lord. Don't let the devil steal your joy. I pray that the word ministered to you today. And don't forget, uh, it's time to pray. Amen. It's time to pray. Amen. Let us continue to pray and seek God's face. God bless you. The, the Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious unto you. The Lord lift up the light of his countenance upon you and give you his peace. Let the church say amen. 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 And amen. amen. God bless you. Have a sweet day in Jesus.